Welcome to this floor and thanks for watching. In our previous video, we talked about some veteran Nollywood actors that kept us glued to our TV screens in the 90s and early 2000s. We thought it wise to also talk about the top veteran Nollywood actresses who thrilled us with their brilliant performances in the 90s and early 2000s. We are sure most of you watching this video grew up watching these amazing actresses on your small TV screens. Nollywood has come of age with high quality cinema worthy movies, but that hasn't always been the case. Despite the fact that the quality of Nollywood movies has improved drastically, it is still argued that classic Nollywood movies are still the most memorable. From movies such as Living in Bondage, Domitila, The Rattlesnake, these movies kept us wanting for more. Though some of the classic and veteran actors such as Peshen Zokwo, Sola Sobowale and Richard Murphy Damijo are still very active and relevant in today's Nollywood, most of the other actresses who entertained us are nowhere to be found. So the big question we're asking is, where are they and what are they doing now? Let's begin with Nkiru Silvanus. I bet if you're a classic Nollywood fan, you would probably know Nkiru Silvanus. Nkiru Silvano started her acting career in the late 90s and immediately became a household name. She is famous for her crying role and she brought out the best emotions. She has acted in more than 100 movies, playing both lead roles and supporting roles. She has featured in movies such as Tears of Vengeance, Egg of Life, Mirror of Beauty and the famous Cry for Help. She disappeared from the movie scene in the mid 2000s and started following a career in politics. She recently announced that she'll be coming back to Nollywood, not as an actress, but as a producer. Regina Askia Williams Regina Askia started her career as a model. In 1988, she won the Miss Unilag Beauty Competition. Same year, she was the runner-up at the Most Beautiful Girls in Nigeria Beauty Pageant and became the Crown Miss Nigeria in 1990 when Bianca Ono resigned. She made her debut in Nollywood in the early 90s and became one of the sought-after actress at that time. Regina Askia thrilled viewers with her performance in movies like Most Wanted, President's Daughter, Suicide Mission, Highway to the Grave, and Queen of the Night just to name a few. At one point, she was one of the highest paid Nollywood actresses. She later on left Nollywood and relocated to the United States where she started a family and currently working as a family nurse in New York City. Lillian Bash just like Regina Askia, Lillian Bash came into the movie industry in Nigeria after competing in the Most Beautiful Girls in Nigeria pageant. Her beauty and brilliant performances in movies made her keep learning one role after the other. She has acted in movies like Married to a Witch, True Romance, Market Seller, Outcast and Not Man Enough, just to mention a few. Lillian Bash stopped acting in the late 2000s when she got married. She is currently a businesswoman and travels a lot. Lillian Batch is definitely one Nollywood actress we greatly miss on our TV screens. Sandra Achum Sandra Achum was born in Imo State which is located in the southeastern part of the West African nation, Nigeria. She had a primary, secondary and tertiary education all in Lagos State. She attended State College, Isolo, Lagos. Achum in 1995 made her entrance into the Nigerian movie industry with a movie titled Deadly Affair where she featured alongside other Nollywood veteran actors as Dolly Machuku, Jide Kosoko, and Emeka Ike. This movie would eventually become a classic and become her stepping stone into the limelight. Some of her popular movies are Deadly Affair, Tears in the Sun, Domitila, and Tears and Sorrow. Sandra Achum was really loved because she had a good command of the English language. In 2006, Sandra quit Nollywood, relocated to Germany, and started her family. Georgina Ohoa Georgina was one of the gifted actresses in Nigeria in the 90s and early 2000s. She is from Anambra State in southeastern Nigeria. She joined the Nigerian movie industry in 1990 at the age of 10. She came to fame in 1992 after acting the movie title Living in Bondage. She became very popular after she acted the movie Egg of Life. In 2003, she got married and decided to quit Nollywood. In 2016, she announced that she was no longer with her husband and that she was suffering from an unnamed illness. Georgina currently lives in the United States with her two daughters and she is currently a health worker. We sure do miss seeing her on our screens. Benita Nzeribe Benita Nzeribe joined the Nigerian movie industry in 1998 and after featuring in several movies, she became so popular in Nigeria and Africa. 
She has featured in more than 50 movies including Agony of a Mother, Hold Me Down, Fools in Love, Legas Babes, Girls Caught and Fire on the Mountain among others. Recently, she has been on and off the movie industry. She is constantly startling between Nigeria and the United States of America where her husband is based. Benita is one of the veteran Nollywood actors worthy to be celebrated. Rita Nzelu Rita Nzelu joined Nollywood in 1990 and acted in her first movie, Living in Bondage, the movie that is said to have brought Nollywood to prominence. Rita Nzelu was greatly loved because she easily interpreted any character she was given. After Living in Bondage, she featured in other great movies such as Terrible Scene, Okwa, Freedom and Long John. Rita Nzelu was very active in Nollywood until 2003 when she went MIA. She relocated to London with her husband, although there are reports that her 14 years marriage has crashed. In 2014, she returned in acting and featured in movies such as Otega and His Enemies and Stigma of Womanhood. Alex Lopez Alex is a veteran Nollywood actress born to a Brazilian father and a Nigerian mother. Her first movie, Domitila, brought her to the limelight in the 90s. She was the runner-up in the 1993 edition of the beauty pageant Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria. After her brilliant performance in the movie, Domitila, she went on to feature in movies like Abuja Connection, Love, Sex and Marriage, Dangerous Girls, and Emotional Hazards. It's been a long while since she appeared in Nollywood and very little information is known about her. Susan Patrick Susan Patrick became a household name in Nollywood after her brilliant performance in 1998 movie, Sakobi, The Snake Girl. She later on featured in movies like Married to a Witch, Executive Billionaires, foreign affair and Christian marriage. In the early 2000s, she was one of the most sought after actresses in Nigeria but she quit acting in 2006 after the death of her husband and since then, little or no information is heard of her. Grace Amma Grace Amma was one of the veteran Nollywood actresses that graced our screen in the 90s and 2000s with her charming personality and brilliant performances. She joined the Nigerian movie industry in 1999 when she was 13 years old and landed her first role in the movie, Chains. Since then, she has acted in more than 100 Nollywood movies, including Day of Atonement, Last Wedding, Society Ladies, and Gangsta Paradise. She acted mostly in romantic and action movies. Grace Amma left the movie industry after she had her son. Though she's back to Nollywood, we are yet to see her in movies. Victoria Inyama was a regular in Nollywood movies in the 90s and early 2000s. She was loved for her versatility and personality. She made her debut in the Nigerian movie industry in 1990s and acted in movies such as Glamour Boys, Silent Night, Danger Zone and Odum, just to mention a few. Inyama, after getting married to Godwe Okri, relocated to the United Kingdom and this action was detrimental to her acting career as she left the entertainment business and focused on her family. There you have it, the Splores. Those are some of the Nollywood actresses who thrilled us with their amazing performances in the 90s and early 2000s. Feel free to mention more veteran Nollywood actresses you miss and let us know who was your favorite. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.